In this segment, I'm going to take a look at the cut hole and fill hole and remove overlap tools. And they're found here on the editing toolbar at the bottom of your workspace. And right now they're currently gray. And that's because I would need to, I guess, first select an object that I wanted to cut a hole from. So as an example, choose my select tool, click on the last object that I had created, which was this um, green shape with the Florentine fill in it. Now I have the object selected and I can choose the cut hole tool. Now this is how the cut hole tool works. It tells me down at the bottom, enter point one of hole one. So I'll go ahead and draw a point, one, two, three points. And when I hit enter, it closes that shape makes a, and that will be a hole. And it's telling me now at the bottom to enter point one of hole two. So if I want to have more than one hole in my object, I could add another hole now. So I'll go ahead and draw a little circle this time. And then when I hit enter, it asks me to draw hole three. And, and you can create as many holes as you want. And when you're done creating holes, you need to hit enter again. So two times in a row. And it cuts the holes out. So maybe I didn't make that clear. I'll try that again. So for example, I'm going to select this yellow fill. And again, it's got a Florentine stitch spacing. And that doesn't matter. Choose the cut hole tool. Draw a hole, one, two, three, four points, however many points you want. Hit enter, enter, cuts the hole out. So that's how this whole cut hole tool works. And with that, you're able to remove um, the center of a hole in any piece of fill. Now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to hit control A and delete, clean up my workspace and create some sort of a, um, a, a shape to cut a hole, some, cut some holes out of. So. It really doesn't matter. It could be any kind of shape. Remember, left clicks give you corner points. Right click gives you rounded points. You want to hit enter, fills the shape in with thread. Simple as that. Now, when I select the shape, that's when the cut hole tool becomes available. And if I go ahead and cut a hole out of that shape, so I'll just go ahead and create myself some sort of a little hole of a triangle. And that's it. I've cut a hole out of it. Now, if I go ahead and select the shape, I could use the cut hole tool or I could use the fill holes tool. And so for example, if I click on the fill holes tool, it fills in that hole, basically takes it away. So if I go ahead and choose cut hole, cut any shape hole you want. And again, click on the shape. If you want to remove the hole, click on fill holes. Now I'm going to do it again. And this time I'm going to cut another hole out. So we'll just Draw another hole, whatever. So there's my hole. Now this time, I'm going to select the hole, and or select the shape. And rather than just using the button to fill holes, I'm going to come to the Edit drop-down menu, because there's optional, the same option as here, Cut Hole and Fill Holes. But there's a small difference. When you use Fill Holes from the Edit drop-down menu, you get a little option box and the choices are either remove holes or fill the holes with new objects. So if I choose fill holes with new objects, I also have the option of setting an underlap, which basically means how much do you want your new object to overlap with the hole? Do you want it to be exactly the shape of the hole or do you want to have a, you know, a half millimeter or one millimeter underlap? So I'll put a half millimeter underlap. And I'll say OK. And so you can see that it filled in the hole, but it created a second object in the shape of the hole. See that? And for that matter, if I click on the shape now, if I use the fill hole tool, it made the set the new object. So the way the fill hole tool works is it will fill the hole using the last settings that you chose on that fill hole tool dialog box. In other words, if I click on the shape and go to the edit drop down menu and choose fill holes and choose remove holes, then the next time that I use the tool, so if I click on the shape, cut a new hole in it, and then select the shape and choose the remove holes tool or the fill holes tool, it will remove them. So it will either remove them or it will add a new shape, a new object in the shape of the hole to fill it. 
and that's based on the edit drop down menu for fill holes and once you've set that fill holes that becomes the way that the tool will work the next time you go to use it whether it's going to remove the holes or fill the holes with new objects now another option you have is called remove overlaps and for example now that I actually now have three objects here and maybe to make this easy I'm gonna select this one and make it red and I'm gonna select this one and make it whatever yellow so why don't we go ahead and I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna select this background area make it just a little bit bigger make give it some room and I'm gonna put the red shape over top and I'm gonna put the yellow shape over top oh and why don't we even digitize another shape so why don't we go ahead and create a circle in green and put that over top okay so what I have now is three objects sitting on top of this parallel we fill now if you wanted you could use the remove overlaps option to cut holes out of this background so as an example if I select this red shape and then choose the remove overlaps feature now if I take a close look I can see that the software whoops I didn't want to select the options box the software selected or removed the stitches behind that red shape it did not remove the stitches behind the yellow shape because I didn't ask it to it I specifically selected the red object and asked it to remove overlap so we'll do it with the yellow object see right now I have this yellow object selected and if I choose remove overlaps it cuts a hole out right behind the yellow shape same thing with the green circle choose that remove overlaps and it removes the stitches that are overlapping between those two so that can be very helpful when it comes down to layering your designs together and you have multiple objects together and you can use that remove overlaps tool to create um, a void in between the background layer and the top layer so when you want to remove overlaps you always select whatever's on top it's what's on top that you choose and when you select an object and choose remove overlaps it removes overlaps for the areas that are underneath that object so there you have it I just cut another hole out of this background fill so that's the tools cut hole fill holes and remove overlaps